Wow, I can't believe this. Thank you, it's really very shiny. If I had known this would happen, I would have prepared a speech. If I weren't in shock right now I might remember the names of my co-stars. If I had known what a crazy journey it would be, would I ever have started? Could I have done it on my own? Maybe. But it wouldn't have been as much fun. If my girlfriend hadn't supported me in the beginning, would I ever have pursued my dream? If my ego hadn't gotten out of control, she would probably still be with me. I wish she were here. Many thanks to you Suzanne. If you can forgive me, I will be the happiest guy in the world. And if my agent hadn't found me projects, where would I be now? It would be a whole different story. Thank you Jennifer. And if my friend hadn't given me free food and a place to stay and practiced lines with me, and called, to remind me of auditions. Wow, seriously, where would I be if you hadn't done all that stuff for me dude? Thank you man. And if my manager hadn't always come by and banged on the door and driven me there and given me pep talks. I wouldn't be standing here today that's for sure. Thanks for everything Michaela. Man I told myself I wouldn't cry. I couldn't have done it without you guys. This is for you, thank you. If I study my lines, I will do better in the audition. This is a real conditional. If I studied my lines, I would do better in additions. This means that I don't study my lines. It uses the subjunctive form, which looks like simple past tense but refers to an unreal situation in the present or future. Conditional sentences usually have two parts, a condition clause and a result clause. It doesn't usually matter which clause comes first. Let's talk about real conditionals first. If he calls, his mom will be happy. If he wins an award tonight, he will get more jobs. If he learns his lines, he will do better. Now let's talk about unreal conditionals that use subjunctive verbs for contrary to fact ideas. For example, he doesn't call. If he called, his mom would be happy. Notice that a simple past verb form is used although this sentence is not talking about the past, it is talking about present or future, but something that is not happening. It is purely hypothetical. The result clause uses would. He doesn't usually win awards. If he won awards, he would get more jobs. Again the verb form looks like simple past tense but it is not about past time. It is about present or future, hypothetical. This is subjunctive. He doesn't learn his lines. But if he learned his lines, he would do better. You can also say, he would do better if he learned the lines. It doesn't usually matter which clause comes first. Now let's look at some past tense conditionals. Both real and contrary to fact conditionals can be about the past. If he called, his mom was happy. This means anytime he called, his mom was happy. Both events are in the past. If he won an award, he got more jobs. Again, both of these events are in the past. If he learned his lines, he did better. But let's look at unreal, 
contrary to fact conditionals in the past. In other words, past subjunctive. Like, he didn't call. But if he had called, his mom would have been happy. This is about something that didn't happen, it is purely hypothetical. Notice that the past perfect form is used to mean simple past hypothetical. He didn't win, but if he had won, he would have gotten more jobs. Past perfect is used in the if clause, and would have done is used in the result clauses. He didn't learn his lines. But if he had learned his lines, he would have done better. You try. The real situation is that I don't usually prepare and don't know what to say. But if I prepared, I would know what to say. I wish I prepared more often. I wish I knew what to say. I didn't prepare a speech, so I didn't know what to say. If I had prepared, I would have known what to say. I wish I had prepared. I wish I had known what to say.